Welcome to Air Academy Associates series on using SPC Excel. This video clip is designed to provide you with a, an overview or a brief introduction to the software called SPC Excel. SPC Excel is a Microsoft Excel add-in which provides easy to use analysis within Excel. It includes both graphical and statistical analysis features. The graphs and analysis that you generate are stored as Excel worksheets and can be shared with anyone who has Microsoft Excel, even if they don't have SPC Excel itself. So when you install SPC Excel and you open it up, you will have a new menu item called Sigma Zone as part of the main menu for Microsoft Excel. And when you click on that, you will get what I will call the SPC Excel main menu. Some people also call this the Sigma Zone ribbon. But this is your main menu. It is not complicated and we're going to go to the software now to show you some of the capability within each of these main menu uh, items. So let's go to the software right now and look at this live. I have just opened the software SPC Excel and as you can see Sigma Zone appears in your main menu item of Microsoft Excel, along with other familiar things you're, you're, you have used in the past, file, home, insert, formulas, data. So once you click on Sigma Zone, the SPC Excel main menu shows up right over here. And as I said, some people refer to this as the Sigma Zone ribbon. I'm going to paste this so this menu item stays up there. Uh, so. In this main menu item, you have a group of tools called control charts. We have different control charts, X bar R, X bar S, individuals, P chart, C chart, and others. We have the ability to auto update the chart, update all charts, mark certain points as outliers. We can remove the outliers, things like that that provide you capability in the control chart arena. We also have a control chart wizard. Suppose you don't know which control chart you'd like to use. This wizard will guide you through the process of selecting the right control chart for your needs. Analysis diagrams. There are six analysis diagrams ranging from histograms, histograms to box plots. If you want to see in a bigger icon format what they are, histogram, process capability, scatter plots, Pareto, you have summary stats along with dot plots, and you have box plots. Those are some of the tools available there. Under analysis tools, you have regression analysis, you have the ability to do correlation uh, between variables, a t-test matrix, which is a test for a shift in the mean, a paired t-test, you have the f-test, you have independence test matrix, and a host of other tests. You also have the ability to ge generate confidence intervals and calculate sample size. One of the most frequently asked questions of me is, how much data do I need? What does my sample size have to be? This little option will allow you to calculate that. There are other things here like MSA, which stands for Measurement System Analysis. Uh, you have problem ID tools like flow charting tools, uh, fishbone diagram uh, tools, quality tools such as uh, run charts, QSUM charts, FMEA. You look at the FMA, you get the uh, failure mode and effects analysis uh, capability here. Uh, you have other things like generating random numbers from different distributions like the normal, uniform, discrete, exponential. Uh, you have discrete distributions, different distributions that you can calculate probabilities from, continuous distributions, a host of distributions there. I do want to spend a little bit of time on the options. This is a, a nice source for you to go to change your default settings. Uh, because once you get into doing histograms and Pareto's and bar charts, things like that, you will want to set up your own default settings. And if you ever want to change those, this is where you want to go. Like for summary stats, there's a host of things that you might want or might not want. Scatter options, you have Pareto options, there are different options here. You can always go back to restoring all the defaults if you overridden any of those at any point of time in your use of SPC Excel. 
The last thing I want to talk about here in SP6 cell is this item called About SP6 cell. If you click on there, it will tell you that the serial number, this is your serial number that gives you the license to use the software. You have the version number right here. Uh, there are some other things here that I'm not going to talk about, but I am going to talk about these two little buttons in the lower right hand corner of About SPC Excel. The first one is the Help button. And if you want help, you know, we just looked at the analysis diagrams. If you want a little more information on those six diagrams, you can just click here. A histogram is a bar chart for numerical data. Uh, and a CPK chart is a, a, a regression representation of uh, uh, a graphical representation of the distribution of your data and the process capability. Scatter diagrams, if you click on that, you can get more information on each of these tools. And so you have that available under the Help button. And again, you have control charts, analysis diagrams. These folks over here in the left-hand column represent the major menu items of SP6 cell. And then, of course, you can go into, like I said, the analysis tools in more detail, look at a t-test matrix, and that will explain what these things are. It'll also give you related topics that are associated with each of these tools or techniques. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is this tutorial. Now, the difference between the tutorial and the help session is that the tutorial is actually going to give you data sets that you can play with. For example, analysis diagrams. If we click on that, it says, how do I create a Pareto diagram? I'm going to click on that. And many times you're in Microsoft Excel and SPC Excel, and you click on a diagram, like a Pareto. And you might get a warning that you're... Uh, your data format is not proper. Well, you can always come here and look at the Pareto chart will take data in two different formats, raw data or tabulated data. And it will even allow you, and this is what's different about the tutorial than the help session. You can open up an example and it will give you data. And uh, you can highlight that data, come to the analysis diagrams and actually do a Pareto chart on that data that is provided to you in the tutorial section. So uh, the bottom line is you have uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, valuable information at your disposal in this tutorial. So that gives you a brief overview, uh, about eight minute overview of SPC Excel. You have a lot of power at your disposal. And keep in mind that not only do you have the power of SPC Excel, you still have all of the capability of Microsoft Excel at your disposal as well. As you know, Microsoft Excel can be very, very powerful, but sometimes it's very difficult to use. And that is what SPC Excel is designed to do, to harness the power of all the graphical and analytical tools that are existent in Microsoft Excel, but make them very, very easy to use. So thanks for listening to this brief introduction. I hope this helps you a little bit as you navigate your way through SPC Excel.